we, we started this just because we wanted to have that creative outlet uh, and that we wanted to uh, be able to make things. So when we first started, we, we built a forge. Uh, we basically went around to a bunch of the auto shops in town and asked them if they had uh, transport truck brake drums. And a couple of them had them, they, they gave them to us. We were able to weld up some, some brake drums and uh, start with a coal forge. Just kind of started from there. We started tinkering around. Colin obviously was the pro. He knew how to work the metal already and how to heat it properly in the coal forge. It was, it was a good experience to, to build our own, our own uh, basically our own uh, heat source, our own, our own tools. My brother and I are very close and we work in this, uh, with this quite a bit. Obviously we are brothers and he's the older brother so it's competitive so obviously we want to one-up each other and it's been a little bit difficult being the younger brother and not being as talented as him because he's got the experience and the, the time put in so. Yeah, we have a very close relationship, uh, we're only a couple of years apart, we've been you know growing up together. Um, so we, it's a pretty natural flow of things. Uh, we've always been helping each other out with things. So I've been teaching him some of my skills that I've learned uh, and he's uh, going to school for mechanical engineering so he's teaching me uh, modern welding skills um, and making and doing a lot of manufacturing. He's really helped me to learn and to develop my blacksmithing skills to hopefully produce some better quality products. There's always challenges when you're learning. There's always, there's always a trial and error. Um, so we did have to, to make some adjustments to things and, uh, um, and kind of get, uh, get things fitting just right. So there's been a few burns, uh, nothing major. I haven't burned myself quite like Colin has. I think he's got a, a burn mark on his, his shoulder from a, a friend who came over to, to make some stuff with us, but nothing major. We haven't lost any fingers or toes or eyes yet, which has been quite fortunate. We like to keep it pretty safe. Uh, with our old forge, it was very easy to, to burn our metal because it, we were getting it so hot in the coal forge. Um, so a lot of times I was working on something very, you know, fine detailed uh, and trying to get things just right and I'll end up uh, losing track of time and, and, and just, just burning it completely and so that was, uh, there was some, uh, some, some not nice words said at those times. I think we've always we've liked to do that because my father he likes to do woodworking quite a bit and building things. So I think we got it from him. I just really like creating and building, and it seems a little bit fun when you get to make noise and bang a hammer on metal with hot things. I think that my favorite thing about blacksmithing uh, is that I I am creating something. So I'm taking a, a piece of metal uh, and turning it into something completely different uh, and something that that's useful, uh, that that looks nice, and I can. It gives me a creative outlet that I can, that I don't sometimes get in my day-to-day -day life. Um, this, uh, the blacksmithing really lets me uh, be, be artistic and be creative. Uh...